Hi, one and all. Uh, now we will discuss uh, about loop analysis in uh, MATLAB. So now uh, we have took a, a simple electric circuit consists of uh, five resistance and uh, one uh, voltage source. So now we will apply loop analysis and we will uh, derive the values and we will do the same in the MATLAB. So now doing the loop analysis we have to find or we have to find how many loops are there in the simple circuit. So we identified uh, three simple uh, loops here. Here first loop is uh, first current loop is here I1 and the second one is uh, I2 and the third one is uh, I3. So we have to apply Kitchhoff's voltage law to each and every loop. So we are applying KVL to the loop analysis. In previous video we have done node analysis and we applied KCL. So here how many loops are there? Loop 1, loop 2 and loop 3. So for the three loops we have to apply the Kitchhoff's voltage law. So first we apply for the loop 1. So, 10 into I1 minus I2 plus 30 into I1 minus I3 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, we will simplify this uh, equation. So, it will be 40 I1. Uh, minus 10 I2 minus 30 into I3 is equal to 10. So, this is our equation number 1. So, now we again apply uh, KVL for loop 2. So, loop 2 equation 10 into I2 minus I1. Plus 15 I2. Plus 5 I3. I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. So we will simplify this uh, equation we get uh, minus 10 i1 plus 30 i2 minus 5 i3 is equal to 0 so it is our equation number 2 Similarly, we apply KVL for loop 3. So, loop 3, 30 into I3 minus I1 plus 5 into I3 minus I2 plus 30 into I3 is equal to 0. Now we will uh, simplify this uh, equation. So it will be minus 30 into I1 minus 5 into I2 plus 65 I3 is equal to 0. So, this is our equation number 3. So, now we got equation number 1 from loop 1 and equation number 2 from loop 2 and equation number 3 from 
loop 3. So now it is in the form of uh, some impedance value into the current value is equal to voltage value. So Z11 into I1 plus Z12 into I2 plus Z13 into I3 up to Z1M into IM is equal to summation of B1. Up to how much it will be like Z, the next immediate value is Z21 into I1 plus Z22 into I2 plus Z23 into I3 up to Z2M plus Z2M into IM is equal to V2 up to uh, it will be the loop will be uh, equations will be up to Vm. So now we will uh, simplify this uh, equation. So it is in the form of matrix of uh, Z into matrix of I is equal to V. So now we will write what is Z and what is I and what is V here. So Z value is Z11 is 10 here, sorry, Z11 is 40 here, and Z12 is equal to uh, minus 10, and Z13 is obviously minus 30. Now, loop 2, Z21 will be there in loop 2, Z21 is equal to minus 10, Z22 is equal to 30 and Z23 is equal to minus 5. Similarly, loop 3. Z31 is equal to minus 30. Z32 is equal to minus 5. And Z33 is equal to 65. So, I value. I value is the unknown value. I1, I2 and I3. That known value is voltage value. Which is in the right side. Right, right hand side. 10, 0, 0. So, in order to find the value of unknown values, current values, so from this formula we can write I is equal to Z inverse, yeah, Z inverse V. So, this is a basic equation. So, now if we write the code for MATLAB uh, for this equation, we will find the unknown value. Now we will see uh, how to do loop analysis in uh, MATLAB. First uh, write CLC clear all. Now first we have to uh, write our uh, impedance matrix. So Z matrix. So now Z is equal to first uh, Z11 value. We'll just cross check your uh, previous calculations so z11 value and z12 value z13 value semicolon z21 value z22 value and z33 value z23 value and Z31 value, Z32 value, and Z33 value. So this is same uh, matrix which we got in previous calculation. Now run the program and check cross check your Z value. So the Z value here we got is similar to the what we got in the previous calculation section. Now close this variable. So now we have to write the value of V. So V is equal to So after uh, giving the V, so we have to apply the formula for calculating the value of uh, 
i now again cross check it and check the v value and uh, now so exactly got 1000 so now close this variable now apply the formula so i is equal to inverse of z into v now uh, the last line is display i so now run this program we will get the value of uh, i1 i2 and uh, i3 so we got i1 is equal to 0.4753 i2 is equal to 0.1975 and i3 is equal to 0.23 Four six.